So today is uh, upgrade day. Uh, for a long time, about a year and a half now, I've been using the uh, the old Bauer uh, Harbor Freight uh, tool bag for my daily tool use. I've featured this a couple of times. I did a just got into it type uh, uh, video and a year about about six months ago, a year into it type video and uh, yeah, it's about about run its course. It's got holes in the pockets. I could probably get another six months out of it before it got on my nerves too bad. But uh, yeah, I've mentioned a few times in in, in those those past videos. If uh, you got a got an upgrade uh, um, suggestion, uh, let me know. And that's where I come up with this here uh, tough built XL rolling massive mouth uh, uh, tool bag here. And um, yeah, there's guys made a lot of comments, and I appreciate that. Um, this one just seemed to be the one that would fit my purposes, and uh, came up a lot. It seems like it's um, a fairly, fairly good build. Uh, definitely the size that I'm going to need. And um, yeah, so I decided to pick it up, and uh, we're going to move into it today. We'll compare it to this guy. I will say that this bag is about, I'd have to look it up, but I think it's about $70 more expensive than this one. So not only am I getting a new one, but I'm also kind of spending a little bit more coin. And uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see if that, that coin... Uh, actually translates into a better bag but uh just giving it a quick glance it looks looks pretty decent just uh just by looking at it so um yeah let's reconfigure cameras which i gotta figure out and uh, to get you guys a good view we'll go side by side to these things and then uh take a quick look at this and then put all the crap in here we'll put it in this one see what happens all right so you see side by side kind of the same same width give or take a little bit this has a little bit of floppy doppies going on the side here um, height wise similar again they both have handles let's kind of cut them both to this angle here width wise again fairly similar I will say this is a little bit more bulky as far as overall size goes not that it's a big deal but it should be said one way or another and uh, yeah I will say the material that's being used on the tough card it just for lack of a better word seems tougher <laughs> but uh yeah they both got wheels they both got handles this handle on the on the bower, it's got a little uh, Velcro thing to hold the handles together. This doesn't. Again, not a big deal. Just pointing it out. And uh, yeah, that's it side by side. All right, so getting into the meat of her, um, we got a little advertising marketing wink going on in the front. Um, it does have this bar in the front here which is metal. I'm not sure if it's made out of steel or not. Oh, it is. That's nice. I kind of like that. All right, so we got a little steel bar in the front there. Um, that is made for their, they have their own little pouch system. I'm assuming it's for if a, you got a tool belt, you can clip this on the front of it and when you get to where you need to be, you can take your tool pouch and clip it onto your tool belt. It's not something I would use. And this is a... I'm not sure how this even works. Oh, there you go. And this would be one of the clips that come with their... That would connect up to their style tool pouch, which is uh, kind of cool. Again, something... I'll probably never use, but worth mentioning. Another thing I just thought of, um, this is my, my old DeWalt uh, quarter inch driver I keep in the house. Um, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So normally I keep a, um, a ratchet, uh, 3 8 impact, and some other stuff. But, you know, if I need to hook something on the front of this, I don't have to worry about making room for it in the bag. Also, um, ample pouches in the front, more so than the Bauer. Um, 
there is some the bower is more of a canvas um, type material whereas this is some kind of it's canvas on the outside but it's got like a plasticized uh, coating on the back which should stand up to the holes a little bit better uh, coming around to the side here we got our all-terrain wheels that um, just look cool they really don't serve a purpose because they're not propelling anything but I guess that's cool um, little pouch here um, you know that might actually be for a it'll fit there yeah that'll actually fit a, a belt clip for your uh, for your tool there too uh, more pouches even more they're kind of tight I'm not sure what you would get in there maybe a roller uh, we have a little little sling here um, probably be good for electrical tape things like that around the back not much going on just the handle housing and it looks like they did give you a little bit more room one of my complaints with the uh, the bower is going down the steps the little back panel would catch and pop off whereas to this is just a solid piece so that's kind of nice and I'm coming around to the other side a little see-through ID pouch and some more places to uh, stuff tools in so now we're into the top of the bag um, two velcro loops I wonder I wonder if they would fit a, a spray can. Alright, standard spray can here. Yes. Very cool. I like that. Most of the time I just, if I need, you know, brake clean or some kind of lubricant when I'm walking out to a piece of machine, I just kind of lay it on the top or stuff it in the bag and yeah, that'll be nice because usually if I stuff it in the bag, sometimes the trigger gets pulled and it sprays crap all over the inside of the bag. And if I leave it on top, I end up dropping it seven times before I get to it. So that is cool. Now getting into the actual pouch. This has a single opening pouch, unlike the Bauer where it opens like this. That's kind of nice. And I think these loops, now that I'm looking at it, are actually can actually be used to hold the, the mouth open, which again is kind of cool. I'm starting to like this thing more now that I'm looking at it closer. Alright, and the inside, oh snacks. Uh, the inside, it's just a cavernous hole here. Big pockets on either side bunch of little pockets and then a big empty spot in the bottom so let's uh, take this off the thing we'll empty out the bower onto the table here and that way there you kind of get an idea of what will actually fit in one of these things and uh, we'll fill it up see what happens all right we'll start on the outside and we'll make our ways in um, you're gonna see a bunch of tools that um, seem random but it's for jobs where you know there's a good example i need this t-handle hex driver for one particular job i have the whole set in the toolbox but i only ever need this one so i keep it in there so if you see random tools that are just kind of separate it's for specific things that i do on a regular basis now I just got these from, uh, I bought them myself, this isn't a sponsored thing, but uh, Nick from, uh, this thing here, uh, JD Tico, uh, Jersey Discount Tools, he's got a beef with Mr. Subaru, you've probably seen him in the, uh, in the short style videos, and uh, yeah, he made one of these, 
kind of funny. I had to buy it. It was, it was cool. I also got this thing too. I haven't really tested it out too much. Like I said, I just got it. But this is his uh, double dongler, which is a, um, it's a hard. I mean, it's pretty stiff. But it's for like, if you got like an oil pan or something like that, you take all the screws out, you got to break the gasket loose or pretty much any cover like that, or it's just a scraper. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I picked it up. I threw it in my bag. I'll link to his channel. Um, he's probably the only tool seller on the internet that I actually like to watch. And the guy's funny. He's a little, he's a little messed up in the head. But uh, yeah, he sells some decent, he sells a lot of gadget style tools, which I like. And uh yeah, I mean, otherwise, aside from that, his regular tools are pretty decent price too, so I'll link them. So, there we go. That's my, my daily runner. Um, believe it or not, this is... 95% of what I work on I could do with just these tools sitting on the table which is a nice thing with Toyota because they kind of like commonalities between their parts and uh, yeah you don't need to have a whole bunch of tools to work on them so um, some of this stuff I'm going to put back in the toolbox like my snap-on that doesn't need to be in there I was I recently switched customers from one that was doing all mostly electric stand-ups to electric sit downs and, and riders and and pallet jacks so like this was a tool that i had for the riders and snap ring pliers so some of the stuff ain't going to make it back in but majority of it's going to be back well it's going to end up in the new bag this inflator bag too i don't need that at a glance anymore so uh yeah let me uh reconfigure and we'll stuff all this crap into the uh to the new bag so, all of this is, you know, subject to change. I got to figure out what, how this bag works best for me. I'm just going to stuff stuff in the way it seems like it would work out best for me. And uh, we'll figure it out from there. I'll start the opposite way inside and then we'll work our way out. I am digging the Velcro strap that holds the lid open. That was one of my complaints with the power was... Um, you had to constantly opening the thing it was a pain in the butt but um yeah let's dig into it That's a cool thing I just noticed. It's got this little mesh zipper pouch up here, which is good for all these little tools that I always got lost in the bag. And these little drivers, little extra, yeah. I'm digging that for sure. That's cool. Alright, so this will be easier just to do handheld for, for lighting reasons, but uh, yeah, you can see it's kind of the same type of thing, commonly used things I keep in the front, screwdrivers, hex keys. Um, this I was going to put on this here little strap here, which I'm pretty sure would be pretty good for uh, electrical tape too, but this is just drivers I commonly use. But uh, yeah, I just clipped it there, it's magnetic, why not? And it's holding on there pretty good, so I don't have to worry about losing it. Um, this side over here, just a scraper, nothing, nothing too big going on. This side right here, adjustable wrenches. And in the top here, 
and I'm not sure what that little purple artifact is there, but whatever. Um, in the top here, socket set. I got my combo wrenches on the side here, metric and standard over here. Before, I always had them buried in the bottom here, which means everything had to come out for me to get to them. So that's kind of cool. And then just hammers and 3 8 impact screw gun and the ratchet. And then just various, various pliers of cutters and what have you. And up here, just small stuff. And I can also see too, with this, um, throwing other small things in here like parts that I don't want to get lost while I'm traveling out to the machine I'm working on. So I really do like that right there. Yeah, and another thing I just realized I had to run out to my truck to grab beans that this is actually uh, magnetic is my tack toad pouches uh, they sent me here. They got the little magnets on the back. So I can just clip that on instead of balancing it on. That's awesome. I like that. Very cool. So there we go. Um, I clean my hands. Marcia from Tubatel just sent me out a new care package. I got my new shirt. Not sponsored. She's just nice and sends me things every once in a while. And uh, I actually like the product. It's uh, does a good job cleaning your hands. It doesn't dry your hands out in the winter. And uh, yeah, it's usually against my religion to get my hands dirty on the weekends, but you do what you got to do sometimes. But uh, shameless, shameless plug aside. Thank you, Marcia. Um, yeah. So the question is: is is this worth the extra coin compared to the Bauer? And uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, yeah. Um, this thing, it, it it just it's it's better put together, I guess. I, I would say this thing. You can tell that they had guys that were in the trade asking questions. What what works good for you? And they they made it for this. Whereas to this, it just kind of feels like you build a bag and you put some random pockets on it and and sell the thing. Uh, quality of build definitely goes to the. Uh, the tough built. I'm not ragging on the Bauer. Um, the Bauer is a fine bag. Like I said, I've had it for over a year and a half. Uh, probably would last me at least another six months before I would really consider replacing it. I mean, you do have the problems with the holes in the bottom of the pouches and what have you. But aside from that, it's not bad. Um, so this I would consider more, you know, you want to throw a couple more coins into the mix, get yourself a little bit better. And, um, yeah, so as, as always with this stuff, you know, I'll take another look at it at a year and we'll see how it does, you know, longevity wise compared to the old Bauer here. And, uh, yeah, look back at it because the way I look at it is anyone could take something brand new and think that it's nice, but how's it going to last over a year? So, um, I mean, as always, if this was sent to me, I would have said, so I bought this off of Amazon. I'll link it in the thing. You guys clicking it on the links kind of gives me the excuse to buy this other stuff and show it to you. So it kind of works out for both of us. Um, yeah, so like I said, if you see back there in the thing, let me go grab that. I, I was at one of those one of those lot, lot style stores and uh, just shopping around. You know, it's mostly junk, but um, yeah, they had the old, I mean, if I turn it off, you'd be able to see it better. Has the old thumbs up, which has kind of become my, there you go, um, <laughs> catchphrase. I don't know how it became. It was more an awkward way for me to end my short videos was just to do the old there you go. And I say that a lot in real life, too. It's just kind of a dismissive thing, I think. But, uh, yeah, I saw this, and I was like, that's pretty cool. And it's even the right hand. Well, left hand but the correct hand i should say but um tangent aside um shit my just, battery just fell out of it um tangent aside um yeah so i like it i like it a lot i actually like it more now that i've actually put the stuff in it than i thought i would i thought it was just going to be another bag but i kind of like the way everything's put together in it all you guys who made made uh, comments uh suggestion bags 
Um, thank you. Uh, I, I looked at, you guys know I always read my comments, even if I don't reply to them. And um, yeah, I looked, at the, I looked at all of them. This one came up a lot, or this brand came up a lot. And uh, like I said, it just seemed like it would be the best fit for me. Most of these bags aren't necessarily made for mobile heavy equipment mechanics um so it's kind of hard to to get it because like a lot of your like plumbers hvac guys and whatnot they have less hand tools than, than us than us mobile guys uh mobile equipment mechanics have and um yeah like i said it's just kind of hard to um find a find a bag that's got the kind of storage i need and this one seems like it fits it pretty good so uh as always um questions comments concerns you could just drop them down in the old section there I, i'll be sure to read them and uh thanks for watching there you go